live presentation of how to predict market direction using volume and price. My name is Randy Lindsay, your host for today. We have a special guest in the house for you today. Nigel Hawks himself will be coming in to give this presentation and show you how he uses the software uh, that he's developed over these years to not only look at and analyze the markets, but how to use it uh, to predict market direction. Now you can use it in your everyday trading to integrate volume into your own trading arsenal. Just a little brief background. Um, I, like yourself, uh, was a trader. I was looking around for some of the best uh, teaching or trading applications to use. I was doing some research on the internet and I came across Hawkeye Traders and found out that uh, I kind of liked the aspect of trading with volume and integrating that in. So I was intrigued enough to sign up for a seminar, a live seminar that Nigel was holding uh, at the time in uh, Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. So I signed up and went to that uh, that seminar, and uh, I think Nigel kind of liked me. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think uh, we got along so well that I started working for Hawkeye shortly after that. So um, not only was I able to uh, get a hold of the uh, software uh, integrated into my own trading, but I was also able to uh, turn it around and uh, make a... Uh, a real profession out of it. So um, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, this is the real deal, that we start off looking and questing for information, but when we find it, it can be transformational. So Nigel, are you here? Yep, I'm here, yeah, ready to go. Nigel Hawks to you guys today, and thank you for coming in and uh, teaching us all about volume. So okay. I'll turn it over to you, Nigel. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much, Randy. Randy is the CEO of Hawkeye Traders. Uh, he's been with us uh, for about coming up for nine years now I guess and it's been a pleasure working with him over this period of time. So how to predict uh, market direction using volume and price and probably volume is the most least understood of all the indicators out there and uh, there are very few people out there that really show and uh, train people in, in the use of volume and that is uh, the bread and butter of Hawkeye. First of all, we've got to have a disclaimer. Uh, we are not licensed to give trading advice, nor do we wish to do so. If any of you have any problems with that, please leave the room now. Uh, if not, please stay. My goodness, I saw two people leave, so <laughs> thank you very much. That was interesting. Oh, and six people joined. Okay, so let me carry on. The agenda uh, for this evening, and I say this evening because it's uh, 9.30 at night here, I'm based in uh, England. I, I live on an island called the Isle of Wight, which is just off the south coast of England, between England and France. And um, so it's night time for me, and the format for this evening will be a, a short introduction to volume, application of volume, the most important part, closing thoughts, and particularly the questions. And it is the questions where you will get the most out of us because unless we know exactly who you are and what you're doing. Um, we, we really can't help you, but we can guess at the sort of charts that you're looking at. But please ask me to look at specific stocks or Forex or futures when we come up to questions and I will show you that those. Just before we go any further, I'm going to do a quick poll or ask Randy to do a quick poll uh, to find out exactly the um, profile of, of the uh, room tonight. We've got a, a very big attendance this evening. So if you could just answer that poll, it'll give me a good idea on what to spend more time looking at rather than talking to you about markets that few of you might trade. So whilst that is going on, let, uh, let me just tell you more about the actual understanding volume. You know, volume really is the engine room of of trading and I really don't think that you can be a fabulous proficient trader without understanding it but I come into that as we lead through this uh, PowerPoint. I hate PowerPoints so I'll rattle through this PowerPoint pretty quickly and we will get to uh, questions and charts in about 30 minutes and then I have a very special offer for you at the end of course showing you exactly how to get hold of the starter package for Hawkeye at a very advantageous price. Randy, can you give me an idea, please? 
Yeah, can you see that on your screen? No, because I have to change glasses. Okay, to see it is 65% uh, of the room is Forex traders, uh, followed by 17% right. index futures traders, Yeah. and then 12% options traders. Excellent. So I'll spend a little bit more time on Forex for the options guys. Of course, there are options on the Forex that you can do. Uh, CME, um, look at the futures there. And I know traders who make a very, very good living out of doing options on the Forex. So let me continue and take you through, through the uh, PowerPoint. Traditional trading. We've got to realize that 70 to 80 percent of traders are failing and they are using traditional strategies, the MACD, which happens to be the most favored indicator in the world by traders. Why, I don't know, but uh, it is, followed by stochastics, Bollinger Bands, Elliott Waves, moving average, etc., etc. And these strategies don't work, because if they did work, there wouldn't be such a large fallout. Now I know that a large fallout of traders um, is not specifically down 100% to the trading indicators, but it's down to uh, lack of capital, uh, lack of money management, lack of uh, emotional strength, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There are many facets that go into making a trader. That's why I think it's probably the best journey that you can do in life because it's you against you. Only you screw up. So um, it's uh, it's uh, a wonderful, wonderful journey. And. That's why volume is so important. You've got to understand it because it is the only leading indicator out there. You know, I've been doing this for 24, 25 odd years now, and it just amazes me time and time again how the volume gives you the heads up way before any other indicator that comes in. Signals price movement before it happens, signals market intent. In other words, it shows you, particularly on stocks, the accumulation that's going on before market moves. And all other indicators are lagging. And volume, which I will show you shortly on triple time frames, is the key. You know, all you are trading is risk. You're not trading Forex, you're not trading Apple, you're not trading the bonds. When you take a trade, you're evaluating what the risk is of this trade. And I can assure you that when you have volume on triple time frames all coming together, you are minimizing your risk hugely. And then you can overlay it with your own favorite indicators. Or if you like Hawkeye, you can then advance from the starter package into the full package, which really is a standalone tool toolbox for you to be able to trade. So before I really delve into the volume. I just want to tell you how I became a trader because I think it will probably resonate with quite a lot of you. Um, I started when I left school. I went to work for the Times and Sunday Times newspaper in London, um, selling space, selling advertising. But out of that, I got into the marketing department and I left there and started my own magazine business. And um, I sold that business back in uh, 1982. And I was, uh, um, sailing's my passion, and I was invited to join the America's Cup, the British America's Cup team, when the America's Cup, the big sailing race, was being held out in Australia in Perth. Uh, just before I went, I um, met at a drinks party a stockbroker who convinced me that uh, his managed account was so fantastic that uh, he could really do wonders with my money. And I gave him a six-figure sum. Uh, before I uh, uh, left England. When I got back over lunch, he told me he'd lost it all, and I thought he'd ripped me off. Um, I even had to pay for lunch, I remember. He, uh, I thought he'd ripped me off, and I got stuck into trading, and I went through all the trade notes of the trades that he'd lost on, and uh, I thought it was easy, and I started to trade. And as you can see on the PowerPoint, I was horrible trading the markets. It was, I couldn't believe how stupid it made me look. You know, I'm pretty well educated and I thought it was easy. Well, my goodness, did it turn around and bite me in the backside. I just couldn't believe it. In fact, I even reached the stage and in those days, I was, uh, uh, it was before computers really, well, definitely before computers, um, I was, uh, 
just trading gold and I would chart it out on um, by hand on graph paper every day trading the daily and uh, following trend lines and everything else and uh, I remember Radio Shack just brought out a, a handheld calculator with it you could get a, a moving average off so uh, you know you would do that and then you'd phone your broker up and place an order and then you'd complain like hell for a bad fill, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I just couldn't believe at how stupid it made me look. And I even started to take trades the other way because I was about 80% wrong. So every time I thought I'd buy gold, I'd sell it. And I've got to tell you, I was quite successful. I think I had six, six consecutive uh, uh, plus trades, but of course you can't trade like that. So I thought, well, what I've got to do is do something which really will make me understand. And the top line here is you have to be a loser first. And I put that in there because it is very, very important for you all to do mental work on yourself to get that mental fortitude. It's, it's whilst you're learning to trade, you, you are making losses and you wire yourself up for fear. And you know, to be a great mountaineer or whatever it might be, you know, a surfer, those surfers who go on those huge waves out in Hawaii, they've all conquered fear. And you as a trader have to conquer fear, and that fear is the fear of loss. But you nearly always start off as a loser. And what happens is this that I have seen many hundreds of traders around the world in my time, and they all fall into the category of the same two major errors. One is they can't hold into a trend, they cannot capitalize on a trend move because they are so bruised at being a loser first that when a little wind comes along they come out far too early and then they kick the cat at the end of the day and see that a whole trend has gone on like you had today in the British pound, uh, yesterday in, in, in the Aussie dollar, etc. So you have to be a loser first. And that's hard. So you must do work on yourself. You must buy books like Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas, uh, who, who was a friend of mine who sadly died uh, two weeks ago. Uh, Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. Any of Dr. Van Tharp's books, uh, uh, Financial Freedom, etc., are all great books to read. But you have to do work on yourself. And that's why part of Hawkeye, we do have Hawkeye Mindset, where we have somebody who helps you through this as well. So what did I do? I thought, well, I've got to treat this like a real business. I just can't sit here and do my charts every day and hope that I'm going to learn this. So I would travel to the London Stock Exchange and I went every day for two weeks. I went first thing in the morning, exactly the same time as the traders did. And in those days, the market closed at lunchtime, so I'd go out for lunch with, with, with the guys and uh, talk to them and then go out in the evening and have a few beers and really try and get into their psyche and of course in those days it was before bin Laden it was around so you could just wander into the stock market go up to the uh, second floor and lean over the balcony and watch everybody in the pits and out of that I found the missing link and the missing link was the pit trader advantage they had three things they had accountability and that accountability really translates into they had a business and so many of these people or, or people who start trading really don't treat it as a business they treat it as a bit of a sort of I, I don't know they just sit there and mesmerized and uh, funny enough there's uh, in in the small little village I live in there's a, a guy who um, is a Hawkeye user and I saw him this evening actually and uh, I said, how did you do today? And he said, well, I'm, I'm okay. You know, I did well on, on one market and I, he told me how many pips he made, which frankly was, was not, not that clever. And I said, well, what about the other three markets that fired in? And he said, oh, I didn't take those. Well, if he was working for somebody, he'd get the sack. So you've got to trade as a business. You've got to take every setup and you've got to say, I'm looking at four markets or if you're trading the Forex, you know, six markets. I don't believe you can look at more than those all the time and say, I'm waiting for the setups. I'm going to trade every setup for X amount of time per day or whatever is, is the active period. The first two hours of the open is, is, is what I 
like. The other thing that the pit trader has is free money, of course, and that free money is the spread, the bid and the offer, where you can't duplicate that or replicate that at home, but they have that, and a lot of them make their living just out of playing with, with the uh, spread and arbitraging uh, between it. Uh, but most importantly, they could feel the market. They could feel the buying coming in. They could feel the selling going out. They could feel the buying and selling frenzies. They could feel absolutely nothing happening, so the market's just dawdling along and going sideways. And of course, that's volume. And as soon as I really realized that, and it was striking me all during the two weeks I was doing it, I knew that I had the key. I had the key to the door, but I had to do something about it. I really had to go and immerse myself in as much volume knowledge that I could. I was rather fortunate at that time because I'd sold my business for a substantial amount of money, so I had no pressure on me to earn a living. I also had no pressure on me that if I took a trade that it would hurt me financially because it didn't. And I also didn't have the responsibility of a wife or family at that period. So I, I could indulge myself with uh, time and any losses really didn't hurt me and I didn't have the responsibility of also earning money. So I, I could in, indulge myself, if you like, in this journey into volume. And that started off with Richard Wyckoff. I'm sure many of you in the room have heard about him. He's really the sort of father of uh, volume spread analysis. He was around in the 1930s, same time as Elliot and Gann. Uh, I find it amazing the three traders that we still revere today uh, came, came from that era. Uh, and he studied volume and price. So what did I do? I found out where his family lived and they lived in uh, Phoenix and I jumped on a plane and went out there and I found the Wyckoff family. Um, they had a small little uh, printing company, photocopying printing company. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was on a corner of a uh, small little shopping area and I managed to get a set of photocopy of the original course notes that Wyckoff had, put them in a U-Haul trailer and brought them back to England and I devoured them and I went through and through and through them all the time and whilst I was doing that something started to resonate with me and I realized that I'm not so sure about what Wyckoff was doing if it was 100% relevant in today's marketplace it's because standard volume spread analysis doesn't consider the open, yet Hawkeye thinks it's paramount and I need to tell you why. In Wyckoff's day there wasn't a fixed open as such because there wasn't instant data. So there was the opening in New York, then Chicago, San Francisco, Kansas City, across to Tokyo, Sydney, Singapore, back to London, back to New York. It took time for the markets to open and for data to go around. Whereas today, we see it straight away. And that's why we do have an open, and I wanted to know what it is. Why? Because it's very similar to an auction. You know, if an auctioneer starts something at a price of 100 and he says, bid me 100 and there's no offers, he'll go down 90, 80, 70, 60, so on and so forth. Let's say it gets down to 20 and somebody puts their hand up, it'll probably rally back up to about 40 and then he'll bring the hammer down and it'll be sold. However, if he started at 100 and somebody put their hand up at 80, it's more likely to rally up to 140 and be sold. So it shows you the bias for the session, and particularly on daily stocks and, and, and com uh, commodities and uh, the, the Forex. It just shows you what the market's thinking. It shows you the intent of the market. And that's volume price analysis. So what I'm going to show you now are some charts and uh, take you through those charts and then take questions. Then I will uh, uh, show you exactly what the offer is today and then if you will excuse me I shall go to bed but Randy who is a very very competent 
that uh, trader will then take you through for as long as necessary and you can ask him anything you like and he will show you chart after chart after chart and ask you, answer your questions in great depth. So I really do believe it's a sophisticated way of trading. It's how to see trades clearly. You know, I'm just going to digress here because one of the things that I see when I travel around and, and hold our s seminars, and we've got one coming up in London um, at the end of October, and there's one in Santa Ana in California, uh, headed up by Randy um, at the beginning, uh, the second week in, in, in October. Uh, the one in London is headed by me. Um, it shows you how to see trades clearly, because when I look at people's screens when they come to seminars, frankly, there are so many that should be graphic artists and not traders. They've got everything in the kitchen sink on those charts. And frankly, you don't need much on the charts. You need clean charts and just understand and learn how market structure takes its place, how volume is part of market structure. We teach you in class um, on the web and in our seminars six ways a market moves. So market can only do six things. It can have trend, trend pause, congestion entrance, congestion, congestion exit, trend reversal. If you're a stock trader, you need accumulation, price move, distribution, then it returns to fair value after the float has been taken, etc. And on it on it goes. So it really does show you how to see uh, uh, trades clearly. It shows you how to perceive your charts, how to place your trades, the profits you make, how to protect your positions. For example, let's say you're in an uptrend and you start seeing red volume coming in over triple time frames, I would suggest that you would tighten your stops up. Um, and that's the edge that it gives you. And what I'm going to show you is, is very rudimentary this evening, but you can tie it in with all your own indicators, or you can say, hey, I want to know more about Hawkeye and come to our free trading rooms, etc. So let me just show you this uh, e-mini five-minute chart before I move on and show you live charts. I just want to show you what you're going to be looking at. So that is the Hawkeye suite the volume suite that uh, is the Hawkeye starter package that you can see. And on the bottom, you can see an arrow has come up, and that arrow is showing you the volume. The volume is red for selling, white for no demand, green for buying. Couldn't be easier. You can also see some dots that appear on the volume. There are three different colors on the dots. There's uh, light blue, cyan, yellow, and red. They show you red ultra high volume, yellow high volume, and cyan ultra light volume. And I see some people putting moving averages over volume. Well, that's a total waste of time because as you can see here, we are weighting certain bars, um, those two yellow bars, for example, are lower than if you go across to the left-hand side of the chart, about five, six bars in from the blue arrow on the left-hand side, you see we've got some green bars that are higher than the red bars that have got yellow dots. So. It's calculating the whole time what is the profile because it really is the DNA of the market telling you what is happening, et cetera, et cetera. And um, then we have, you can see here, we have an arrow right at the top and on the top of that um, bar there's a yellow dot and those yellow dots are the Hawkeye pivots and they will show you what is happening. In fact, that arrow also is showing you that you can have the Hawkeye volume as a paint bar. Um, so that is just a straight duplicate of what is on the, the bottom plot of the chart. And then you can see these yellow dots, like I was just showing you, the one at the top of that bar. These yellow dots are very important. They're Hawkeye pivots. They're what's called isolated lows and isolated highs. In other words, the bar in the middle, surrounded by the previous and the next bar, has either a higher high and a higher low than the previous and next bar or vice versa if it's uh, to the uh, um, downside. And we expect three, five, seven bar reversals of, of these and they give you the strength to hold 
into trends and keep going in trends that are very, very important. And again, we teach you all this and show you how to do it. And you can now see the next arrows come in on a magenta bar. The magenta bar is twice average true range over a 20 bar period. And they are very, very important. When that happens, you don't want to trade because 80% of the time the next bars will want to close within the range of the white bar. Not in that example, but that's on a five minute chart when you get to, to uh, daily charts and, and the higher time frame charts, sort of 15, 30 minutes upwards. You'll see it time and time again. And we have a rule that will set that up for you so that you don't get trapped by those uh, violent price moves in the market. So let's have a look at some live chart examples. And I just have to change my screen. Randy, can you see that screen? Yes. Thank you. Um, I'm not going to show you too many because I'd rather take questions and pull charts up for you. But I just want to take you through, this is what I look at, um, these markets. I can change any one around and, and, and move them, but I particularly like looking at the pound pairs um, and the uh, the yen pairs. You, there's always a good uh, movement in it, and I also like the Euro New Zealand, but that bottom left-hand chart I can change at any one time. I'm showing you this in TradeStation, by the way, and this is available in all, all the major platforms, and we'll come to that at the end. So. Let me just show you, and, and here is a very good example of what I was just talking about. Here's, here's Euro Pound. You can see that you've got a marvelous triple top there, and you've got a marvelous double bottom here. And one of the things that, uh, in fact, I've, I've just done a newsletter for next week on don't get caught in, in fake breakouts, is that when you draw a line across support and resistance that these are, you want to see a volume breakout where no part of the bar is straddling the support or resistance. And in this case, every bar has straddled exactly this area here where it went into its uh, uh, support and resistance area. And here is the wide bar, and there is the close within the wide bar. The magenta is the wide bar. Here's another magenta. There's the close within. Here's another magenta. The close was out, and it could have gone. And you certainly had profit to take there if, in whichever way you were trading. This is on, on a daily. So I look at these, and I really do find that I can build up a total risk-free platform for that I can see at any one time what it's doing. And what I then do is let's say we dry, uh, 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 go down into our faster time frames and I told you that when you get it onto triple time frame, that is very important. Now I can build up a pattern so I know exactly what is happening. So let me just show you what I would be looking at here. First of all, I go to my slowest time frame. Well, my slowest time frame is telling me that I have red selling volume in here, but the price is just going sideways and it's not taking out the, the low of the first bar of the red volume, but it's just trickling sideways. Now it came in and it showed that there was buying volume coming in. And I also have buying volume that came in here on this bar. And if I just link these together, you can see that I also have that buying volume coming in down here on the 10 minute. And I have to wait until that high is taken out or this low is taken out for it to break out on the volume. Now, I also know that I have an isolated high here. So I've got exactly the same position on this bar as I do on my 20 minute. And if I come over here and look, I have something called a phantom high here. We don't have time to go into that, which again will hold it. So I am looking for volume strength, which is just starting to come in here. And it, I'm looking for a break of that, no part of the bar touching it. And then we will be off to the races to the upside here. And I will be looking for it to be coming right up to the top here and seeing what will happen around this point here. 
but I can come and look at any of the charts here. Let's go and pull up some of the other bigger ones. Let's pull up the um, the pound New Zealand, for example, which has just gone into a two bar downtrend. And again, I can see here, I got two bars down here. I got my volume showing me. I got a, an isolated high in the background. I come over here. My, my uh, second time frame has given me red volume as well. I've also got a phantom isolated high here, which as I said, we'll discuss in class. Most importantly, my slow time frame has given me red selling volume all the way down now, two bars of no demand volume. So this is a much better trade than the one that I was just looking at, which was the Euro. But I will want to see it break out of here. I want to see this level here be taken out, these last isolated um, lows here. As soon as I get a breakdown through there with no part of the bar touching this price line, then I'm off. And one of the things with trading is you have to be patient. It's like being a hunter in the woods. You've just got to sit there and wait for setups. And that's why I like Forex, because I can go back to my daily feeder and just look at six markets and wait for the setups to come in. I find it absolutely bizarre that some people say, well, all I trade is the uh, Euro USD or this pair or that pair. You know, why? It, it just doesn't make sense. You've got to look for the complete setup as it comes across. And then let me just go on so I can do this. I want to show you something that I sent out. And here is a very good example, which I just pulled up. Uh, before, and this was the newsletter uh, that I sent out a couple of weeks ago, and this is on on the ES, and I will show the um, e, e mini in, intraday as well in, in a moment. But again, if you look at this resistance area here, where these yellow dots are and the volumes are, I have to see a clear break of it. Now, if you're a rookie trader. One, you could have gone in on this bar here, or two, you would have taken that bar there if you hadn't had volume, but we painted that volume bar red. But you would certainly have done that. You would have said, whoopee, we're off. Well, you're wrong. Everybody in the world was seeing that, went up through there. That's why the rookies jumped in. It went up there. The professionals were selling into it, and bang, down it came. And then two days ago, you can see on the magenta arrow, no part of the bar was touching the support, which was the blue line going up, or the resistance up here, the yellow line, that was your entry point, and you would have had the joy of seeing what has happened today in the market, which was quite a substantial down move. And if you come on to E-mini intraday, and again, I've done 10 minutes, you can see, and this is the day session only, you can see, again, you would have started off, you know, I always like to see the first uh, 15 minute of the market go through. We had isolated high, isolated low, isolated high. Now, I don't want to digress too much, but when I see that profile, left, left wing, right wing body, it always looks like a bird coming in on a crash landing when that one's lower than that or vice versa. The left side is lower than the right side. Bang down it came. There was your point where you would say, I want to tighten my stops up. Why? Because buying volume comes in and you've got an isolated low there and you would have been safe all the way through there and then you would have started looking when your 20 minutes started to show accumulation and your 40 minutes started to show no demand saying that this downtrend was not going to continue. There was no demand selling going on there. So you had a low risk entry at this point here in the market to get in for this uh, uh, small rally that came. Well, it wasn't such a small rally. It was about 10 points, wasn't it? That came in right at the end, end of the day. But by tying up those triple time frames, it did it for you. And and again, on stocks, if we want to go and have a look at, say, Apple, largest held stock in, a, in America, we will see that time and time again. Um, let me take that down in, in, in time for you because it's a little bit too slow. 30, 60, 120. 
again, you can see that there was the gap down coming in, bang, 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 down it went, no demand, no demand, and you can see that there was no demand on the 60 minute, no demand again came in on the 120 minute, just showing you with an isolated low there, so that the market is expecting to push back up here, push back up off, off that isolated low there. Let me have a look at, um, uh, say, Netflix, which is always a busy one, and you can see there's your pivot high, there's your trend run down here, no demand, no demand, buying volume came in, that was just telling you it was an end, end of trend because there was no no demand volume in here. This Hawkeye algorithm, by the way, does over 300 calculations per bar, um, so it's uh, it, it's quite sophisticated. It took me many hundreds and thousands of hours to do this and to have the code written and uh, to be happy with it, and um, I'm very proud of it. So that is showing that. And then you can come across and have a look at, at, at your longer term markets. I do a lot of trading on, on the commodities. Um, I know people always like to have a look at gold. You can see here it gave it, came down. Here was the buying volume. There was a test. It's still being bought. It's still being bought. Even down bars here are showing that it's buying which then coincides with what the weekly is doing, no demand, no demand, buying, and also what the monthly is doing. So this is getting steam up here, and it, uh, you know, you'll have your conventional indicators on as well. But one of the big tricks with gold is also to look at the GDX, which is the gold mining index. That will show you more of what's happening, and you can see what's happening. The gold mining index is, is being sold off here as the share market goes down, and that will probably come and do a test down here. Hopefully, if it goes back up, you'll get another yellow dot there, and that yellow dot is greater than that dot, and that would be your three down, and it'll be pushing itself back up. And that works exactly the same with crude, for example. You can look at crude, you can just see as I told you, six ways the market moves. We're in congestion areas here. We've got our, our congestion zones set, set up. We know what we're looking for. We've got no demand volumes here. We've got some, some red selling volume here on tight spreads that are going through on the weekly. And on the monthly, we have buying. But if I go and have a look at RIG, which is the Transocean um, suppliers of uh, of uh, services to the oil industry and, uh, and chartering our rigs. We've had a good run up here. We've got our pivot coming down. Now this bar here, if the next bar tomorrow goes up, a yellow dot will appear there, and this will be pushed up as well. So by tying those three volume time frames in, it really starts helping me. Now before I go any further, Randy, can you, uh, are there any uh, markets of people and time frames that people want me to see, please. Um, someone had asked specifically for the pound yen, what looking at the frame? London Open today. What time frame? Probably intraday. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah, I guess so. And I'll be able to show the same charts on uh, MetaTrader 4 or NinjaTrader or any of the other platforms um, in, later on in the Q&A. So here, here was the session. Oh, oh, that was last night. So the London session came in here. Some people say 7 o'clock. So there, were, there it was at 7 o'clock. Let me just expand this for you. So there it was at 7 o'clock. Here was the red volume. There was your pivot high. You were waiting for a break of that pivot. Bang, there was your wide bar. Can't take it unless there's a close underneath it. There it was. There it went sideways. No demand, no demand. Selling, selling, test. Nothing happened. It was just a test on, on, on volume. It didn't rally from there, which was the real clue that this was selling off. And you can see again, these breaks of these pivots all the time, these these pivot lows as it was coming down on the volume agreeing just took it down. And now it's gone into its congestion phase as you would expect. And it'll just go sideways here until two things happen. A, that last pivot low is taken out, or that pivot high there is taken out. 
So we'll be watching that. You've got the Asian, Asian session uh, uh, coming up soon. Any other questions, Randy? Do you have DAX? No. Okay. Sorry. I don't know either. Um, e no. ES, you already showed that one. Yeah. Uh, the DAL? The YM? Uh huh, the YM. What, what time frame, Randy? They didn't specify that. And crude oil. Well, they, okay. Um, I'll let you do, do crude um, because I don't have intraday data on that. Um, well, I do on, on, on um, yeah, I, I can show that. So he, he remember the times I'm showing you are UK times. So we're coming through here. And when London opened this morning, it had the sell-off um, in the London market. And down it came, down it came, down it came. Then it went through here, and it had its sell-off on its volume. And again, there were your pivots, never taken out, never taken out. And you could have drawn a line through those pivots there, and you can see that that one didn't touch. That was your move down. This is a 10-minute, et cetera, et cetera. And if we have a look at the 20-minute, you can see no demand volume. Can you see that the trend has gone white here? The um, uh, volume has gone white on the actual price here. No demand, no demand, and there's the buying coming in. So there's people either closing out before the end of the day or the professionals coming in and saying, thank you, that's fair value, we'll have that for tomorrow. Another market, Randy? No, um, other than crude oil, those are the only markets specific. Um, Craig wants to know what three time frames would you suggest for the Forex market? That's a that's a very difficult one because it's also down to your risk aversion. Um, yeah, if you want to really do well, trade weekly. You get great trends, but I'm being facetious. I know that you can't trade weekly, but certainly 30 minutes and above. Remember what you're trying to do. As I said earlier, you're trading risk. You've got to be careful with your risk, and you've got to understand that the faster you get to the market the more vibration you get. Remember what you're taking in, in is random data and then smoothing it by putting it in time and then smoothing it by putting your indicators on and then smoothing it again by looking at it in triple time frame. So something like 5, 15, 30, um, a 5 minute is the largest time frame or the most popular time frame uh, traded by um, for, Forex um, traders, not banks, but I'm talking about people like you and me. Um, I particularly like tick charts. Um, we don't have time to show those for me. Randy might show them to you, uh, but um, they work exceptionally well. But I would say 5, 15, uh, 30, but if you really wanted to do, do spectacularly well, it, just breathe yourself out to the higher time frames. Let's go, for example, um, somebody was asking for the pound yen, so that was what it looked like on that time frame. We go and put it on the 30, the 60, and the 120. We start getting a much better pattern of what's happening. You can see across the top here all these yellows. You can see the breakdown of price here. You can see that again on the 60 minute, the breakdown. Remember, I, I think Instead of technical analysis, I'd like to call it forensic analysis. You can see all the way across here that support has held, but bang, it's broken here. Down it comes, and that's exactly the same that's happening over, over on, on the 120 minute. And it just works time and time again, so go out to those slower time frames. Well, listen, I've been talking for 45 minutes. I want to go and show you now exactly how you can be a part and just tell you exactly. And then Randy's going to take over. And he he will be taking you through this um, more and more and show you exactly the markets that you ask for and go into greater depth. So the Hawkeye starter package, what you get is the Hawkeye volume indicator. You get access to the members area. Now, in the members area, there is 
huge amount of educational uh, information for you on volume, uh, money management, um, mindset, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We have uh, also options, etc. Um, a great option guy who runs the Hawkeye Options, so you get access into that whole area. You also get access into the Wednesday training rooms, where we take you through, and they are run by Randy in uh, Eastern Time. Um, in the morning when the market starts, he takes you through through the whole of the Hawkeye indicators, looking for setups, etc. And then on Thursday, you come into the Hawkeye trading rooms. These are all free Hawkeye trading rooms. You can also have access to the Skype room. Every day we have upwards of probably a couple of hundred people in there, if not more some days, all talking to each other who are Hawkeye users, asking, uh, have you seen this, have you seen that, etc. And that's open 24-7, and uh, it's very, very informative if, if you're new to trading. We also will give you a two-hour live bonus, which is a training session on Hawkeye volume run by Randy on Thursday the 1st of October at 12 p.m. Eastern and will be recorded if you've done that. And all of that is $97. We've really discounted our prices down or changed our price structure because I want as many as possible of you to be able to get in and understand volume and have the benefit of thousands of hours of work that I've done on volume, but also understanding the methodology that we go into. Um, in understanding how to get the best and the lowest risk entry. And then we show you how to add to your positions, how to tighten up, how to take profits, etc., etc. So I'm now going to hand you over to Randy. There is the link if you want to buy. Uh, the packages uh, that we work in are TradeStation, Ninja, eSignal, MultiCharts, and MetaTrader 4. Uh, so Come and join us, come and join the family, and at $97, it's a very, very, very low entry into the Hawkeye family. So please come and join us. I'm now going to say goodnight to you, hand you over to Randy, and Randy's going to answer your questions in greater depth. Thank you, Randy. All right, thank you very much, Nigel. Change that over and show my screen real quick. There we go. All right. Um, thank you very much, Nigel. Um, you guys, if you have any specific questions or if I can show you the uh, indicators on any other platform, just let me know and I'll be more than glad to do that. Uh, yes, Arwen, it has been recorded. If you registered for this uh, webinar, then uh, we will give you a link to the recording and email that out to you. Uh, for the seminar in London, um, if you go to our website, HawkeyeTraders.com, and if you uh, Go over to the um, information page, then you'll be the, be able to uh, get information on that. So let me show that to you real quick. HawkeyeTraders.com, and right here under Education, if you click on Seminars, then you'll be able to find out more about the seminar in either London or Santa Ana, right there. So HawkeyeTraders.com, and if you just simply click on the Education tab, you'll get to Seminars, and then you'll find out about either one of those right there. Uh, so I've got the uh, uh, TradeStation platform here showing you what is included in the Hawkeye starter package. Uh, someone had asked earlier, um, is that all that's, uh, that you do or you trade with? And no, we don't. Um, Hawkeye is the foundation for everything that we do. So all of these uh, platforms are based upon volume. So I'm showing you right now the Hawkeye volume module uh, for Forex, uh, for uh, longer term futures or from intraday uh, uh, stock uh, markets. But you can also see that when you integrate the tools together, then we're able to show you a software which is couples multiple longer time frame charts together which will show you not only the shorter but the longer term time frames, the trends, the trade setups. And so we have a full suite of software that triggers and shows you um, the, uh, the entry points where Hawkeye aligns itself up on multiple time frames and shows you the best possible places to get into and profit from these trade entries. You know, for example, um, this morning at 9.30, you can see the market's got open. 
Um, there's a, a lot of uh, choppiness, but Hawkeye right off the bat was showing you that there was an entry on this initial breakout with a nice double dot sell off of the initial entry. Now, while this is not part of today's special, we use volume to help us to see because volume led us into this trade. Look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars prior to the entry of that, we, volume was leading us into that trade. We saw overhead uh, resistance was being tested and every time vo selling volume was showing us that that was your entry point for, for that trade. In addition to that, we also saw all the buying volume coming in prior to the signals that got us back into this trade uh, that rallied toward the close of today. So um, obviously you can see that the the package has a lot more to it than just volume, but we want you to see what volume does. Volume is key and it is critical to help you to see the market when the market changes and when potential direction changes come. If you can see this right here at the very top, you see that buyers were pushing this up as soon as sellers started coming in. You see the hook pattern, you see the pivot point pushing this price down. Then you can see there was a clear change in direction of price and notice the volume increase and the clear presence of selling volume throughout that rally down. So you integrate that with your normal trading methodology like your MACDs, your moving averages, your stochastics, uh, then you can see that you can use this to help you to see that if your trade decisions come in line with volume, then volume, you'll be able to make those trades with much more confidence um, and a whole lot more consistently. All right, someone wants to know if this was available in MetaTrader 4, so let me go over and show that to you in MetaTrader 4. There you go. Uh, there's uh, my MetaTrader 4 platform showing the Hawkeye starter package um, on my OANDA uh, demonstration um, account. You can see the exact same setup. We've got volume coming in way before this pound yen uh, this morning's open uh, during the uh, London session and then a huge amount of sell-off prior to that. Um, bottoming out, pivot forming, declining volume on increasing price. What does that tell you? That tells you that this trade is over. That's what it tells you. That's right. Anytime you see that, that you have declining volume with increasing price or declining volume on decreasing price, um, you've got uh, uh, a nice uh, a profit take at that point. Okay. And you can see if there's other tools, you can always use the rest of the Hawkeye tools as set up on your MetaTrader 4 platform just by switching over and changing those in. So you can see an integration of the entire suite of Hawkeye tools uh, available to you where we line up multiple time frames on single charts looking for signals to either enter long or short based upon our entry methodology. So we always use uh, specific trade rules to identify these entries and these exits. And so when these entries come, we validate the longer time frame is in agreement and we take our trades based upon the entry rules and we take them to full profit. And profit is usually done based upon uh, the um, um, rules and so once we enter a trade then we apply our level rules uh, to the chart to identify average true range based upon a set amount of risk and then each level then will be based upon that risk am amount so this will be a one to one two to one or three to one risk reward and you can measure exactly where you're going on each particular move or the trade associated with that So we're looking at the full package here, but of course the uh, uh, offer that we're making for you today is for our volume package, which is the crucial component. So you can see that uh, volume is the foundation for what we do, but if you decide to upgrade to one of our fuller packages, you will get full credit for every single penny that you've placed down on this right now. So let me go back in and make sure I answer some of your questions and get these down. Uh, Rick wants to know um, how many ticks are used on charts for the ES. Yeah, I can sit there and I can show your gearbox and we'll show you what the, today's settings are for that. Absolutely. Um, is this a one-time or monthly subscription? Chris wants to know. Is it one-time? $97. You get a full lifetime access to our software and to our members area. 
So absolutely, you can do that. You're very welcome, Andy. Uh, do you place trades in the trade room? In our Forex trade room, absolutely. Every single trade is identified. Every single trade is uh, uh, shown. Uh, you can just look right over the screen. He uses his live account with live money. Um, in our training room, I do take all kinds of trades. I'll show you exactly where I enter, where I exit, and how we manage our trades. And that's uh, when I'm not giving training. Absolutely. And yes, Arwen, this has been recorded. Okay, any other questions with regards to MetaTrader? Let me see. Uh, uh, no, we do not support Sierra charts. I'm sorry. Uh, Hawkeye runs on uh, TradeStation, NinjaTrader, MetaTrader 4, eSignal, and multi charts. Uh, does it work on Thinkorswim? Uh, not directly, no. But if you have a NinjaTrader account, NinjaTrader will link directly with your Thinkorswim account. And so uh, NinjaTrader has a free download, a free platform, and you can use the data from your Thinkorswim account to integrate into the NinjaTrader platform. It's a great solution. Uh, we have a lot of traders who are doing that, who are using the Hawkeye suite to do all of their analysis on NinjaTrader, but they still trade their full accounts on Thinkorswim, which is what I do. I have quite a bit of uh, accounts set up over at uh, TD Ameritrade, and I trade those through my Ninja account. Okay, volume with candlesticks. Okay, let me do that real quick. While I'm doing that, I'll pop it over to Ninja Trader. Let me pop that up while we're doing that. Okay, uh, someone wanted to know if these things could be shown uh, with the uh, Candles and so if I go over to where is that indicator? There it is. I can just pull up a candlestick and show that the volume identifies candles and paints the candles every bit as well as it does the uh, open, high, low, close bars. So candlesticks are not a problem. If you're more familiar with candles, then by all means use uh, candlesticks. Uh, Gabe wants to know about the full package. If you want to know more information about our packages and the prices, you can see all of those on our website at hawkeyetraders.com. If you just go over to the button at the window that says store, then you'll be able to see the prices um, of our full packages. And you will get a, a, a full credit of any purchase that you make today uh, off of the full packages as well. All right. See, so while I've got Ninja or uh, MT4 up, are there any specific questions with regards to these platforms? Uh, you use Ninja and MT4. Do you have to buy two copies? Um, yes, Jim, the, uh, the copies you are only for specific platforms, so if you want to run them both at the same time, you will have to purchase a second license for that. Um, yes, this is Ninja Trader right now that I'm showing you, Jim. It is right here on the chart. We're looking at the the volume volume module, the volume radar, the volume paint bar, the pivots, and the wide bar. All of these are the are the indicators that are part of today's um, presentation. So um, this is the Ninja Trader platform. If you're looking at uh, Forex, is that what you wanted? So I can just click on a Forex uh, item here. Uh huh. The end of the day is probably not one of the best places to look, but uh, we can always scroll back to a little further time. This is also a two minute, so let me pull that up to a little bit longer time frame. A little easier to look at, there we go. All right, so here you can clearly see the, uh, the, push, the push up, topping pattern, pivot high, sell off, and the, uh, the resulting down move result of that. Uh, here we go, pivot low, hook pattern, buying volume coming in, the trade is over. You're looking for long trades at this point. Okay. So there, it's very easy to see what volume is, and this is the Ninja Trader volume. If you're using uh, uh, TD Ameritrade for your data, like I said, you can set up a uh, an account connection with a TD Ameritrade to link up and provide intraday data to your um, Ninja Trader platform. Uh, yes, I already showed MT4. I'll show it again. 
Here's the MetaTrader 4 platform showing the same Hawkeye tools. Candlesticks on MT4, absolutely. So you got candlesticks on MT4. It's the same. Hawkeye volume paints right on top of the candlestick, so it actually changes the color of the candle. So if you don't want to have the candles uh, colored by the volume, then you'll need to take the Hawkeye volume paint bar off the chart for the very same reason. Okay, did that help you, Irene? Where is the volume coming from, from Forex? Um, it is very much broker dependent, so whatever volume that you get in Forex will always come from your broker regardless. So Hawkeye does the full analysis on the volume that's presented. Even the largest bank in the world does only has access to about 10% of the volume in the Forex market. So anybody who has access to volume can have an advantage and an edge in this market because nobody else believes there's, there's volume out there, but we know different. What we do is we estimate volume in the Forex market using tick count. And with tick count, that gets us about 80% accuracy on the volume. And we do the exact same analysis on the volume using tick count that we do on the regular true volume. So it gives us a very accurate representation of buying volume, selling volume, or neutral distribution showing there's no demand in the market. Yes, Jim, the, the starter package uh, does include a lifetime access. Uh, um, what, it gives you lifetime access to all of our training and membership area. So it gives you access to three full hours of training in our training room, but it does not give you access to our premium daily trading room for Forex traders only. So it's not part of that, no. But you do get full time, lifetime access to all of our Wednesday and Thursday training rooms where we give you three full hours of training. If we're not training, we're trading. So you do have full access to all that, absolutely. Um, yes, you will uh, get a link to the recording afterwards, absolutely. Is there a limit to the number of accounts that you can trade? No, there's not. You, if you have uh, uh, multiple accounts applied to your um, um, setup, then yes, you can trade uh, multiple accounts, no problem. Um, all of the training is done live, three, three to four hours every single week. Um, in addition to that, um, we also give you um, um, access into the uh, members area. Inside the Hawkeye Traders members area, you will have the uh, ability to go over and um, access all of our, um, here, let me go ahead and do this over here, all of our pre-recorded content. So you'll be able to see that directly. Let me pull that over here and show you the uh, members area. Once you get access and purchase the software, then you'll have access to our Hawkeye members area. Here you'll be able to sign up for all of our Wednesday and Thursday trading rooms. Um, you'll have access to all the products that you've purchased. You'll have 24-7 uh, access to download those anytime that you like. You'll also have access to any of the product videos or any of the resources. And inside the resource area, you will have direct access to all of our printed material, like the three-step entry and exit method, the six ways the market moves, and all the teachings associated with those. All of our two-hour special mentoring webinars, you'll be able to view e any of these on demand uh, at any time that you like. All of our uh, Thursday training sessions broken down by Forex or futures and stock trading. Um, all of those are broken down and we show you each and every one of those sessions. Uh, these are all three hours long. So there's tons of online information, uh, on-demand videos uh, for you to be able to watch uh, as part of your membership in Hawkeye. And you get all that today with your purchase. If I have missed your question, if you would not mind repeating your question, then I'll be glad to um, to get to that. There's so many people in the room, then uh, getting to all those questions, I might have missed a few, and it's not intentional. So please repeat your question if I didn't miss it. So the training is done through uh, GoToWebinar. Absolutely. 
Okay. Um, e signal. Okay. Let me get e signal up. Schuweiler, I answered your question about Hawkeye volume. Um, let's see. Jim answered your question. Confirmed. Absolutely. Uh, what is the best data service? Well, it depends on the platform, Daniel. Um, if you can uh, reply back with a specific platform, then I'll be glad to answer that. A tick chart. Okay, Rick, I can definitely show you a tick chart. Absolutely. I've got one set up right here. I'm showing the S&P 500 tick chart daily where we are using uh, some of the more advanced features in Hawkeye. We have uh, the only, the world's only optimized tick chart meter. It's called the Gearbox. Uh, every single day the Gearbox saves there and calculates for you the optimal tick speeds to set the charts to in order for you to trade from. Four tick speeds, one, two, three, four, and then you have four different time charts you set your charts to and then you set each one of those charts up to the tick speed that it calculates for the given day. As you can see over time, let's see here. Which chart am I showing? Hmm. Oh good, I am showing that good. All right, so these are um, um, the S&P 500 using a tick charts. Here is the Forex market. Uh, here's the Forex market using the same software using showing tick charts. So you can see the geared box also calculates all of the ideal tick speeds for the Forex market as well. And these are, uh, someone was asking about the pound yen earlier today, so let me see if I can pull the pound yen up here. Show the setup for the pound yen. The pound yen, um, this morning, you can see that uh, 9, 10, uh, 1, right here, um, right before the open is right here. The open of the uh, London market was here, so you can see that we were already very, very much biased to the downside. Volume was already strong. The momentum indicator is already telling us that we were already heavily weighted to the downside. Uh, when the trigger signals came, then we were already ready to pounce and take this, this downward move. And then it's just a matter of sticking with the trade. The automatic trailing stop holds us in and holds us in and holds us in until that trade was completed, right about uh, the end of the uh, London time or about lunchtime US. Okay, so let me go back to volume uh, because those a lot of those tools are not part of the uh, offering that we're giving you today. The volume is, the volume is the key and the volume is the foundation that we base all of our software on. The other tools are ones that you can add later on. I want to make sure that you understand that those tools are not part of today's offering. Um, Steve, uh, you asked some specific questions about the uh, futures, uh, specific uh, futures charts that you want to be looking at. I have both time and information. Someone wanted to see crude oil. Uh, the information provided about here is a very nice double dot entry towards the close of the um, market session today, uh, showing that rally up into it. Um, obviously, you can see as price rallies down into this uh, 60 minute chart when buying volume comes in and you know you are in a demand zone, a demand area, you're looking at that trade direction ending and you're looking to rally back in. So Hawkeye is telling you at this point, you're looking to buy, you're not looking to sell because volume is showing you the supporting that. Right after that, there's no more sellers in this market and then you can see accumulation and buying came right back into our supply and once we were in supply, then we got another decline sell off and basically died into the afternoon. So it's very clear and easy to see once you apply the software and the tools um, exactly what to trade, what direction to trade to be on the right side of the market and how to stick with those trades to make sure that you're getting the best out of your trade. 
Um, will the standard package have all the things that you see right now? Let me show you and see if I can see. Mm. Okay, um, this right here shows uh, the standard Hawkeye standard package. Let me, I know they were um, looking for the pound yen, so let me pull those up. But uh, the standard package shows you the Hawkeye trend and stops, volume, volume radar, pivots wide bars, includes the Hawkeye uh, uh, momentum indicator, which is our ads, and, I mean the uh, heat map. It also includes the Hawkeye um, 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 levels ATR and GRABA. So the levels ATR is the tool that allows you to place the uh, profit target on the screen to measure um, average true range and risk and apply those to your charts as well. So all that is part of the standard package, that's correct but is not part of the uh, this package here. Which platform has the most accurate volume? Well, the volume is not a function of the platform, Paul. The volume is really a function of your broker. So whatever volume your broker provides for you is the volume you'll be using. Most uh, futures markets will have true volume, so most, most of the markets will all be able to provide you with the true volume. Uh, but uh, Forex markets will be a little bit different because they will be very much uh, platform dependent. Uh, no, Sam, I don't see your question. If you could repeat it for me, I would appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, uh, Irene, the, the, uh, the ES is, uh, is uh, the S&P 500 uh, futures contract, so we do have the volume for that. Absolutely. Uh, Lou, sorry. So if you, don't, if you don't want to trade the SPX, then use the ES because it has the true volume. Absolutely. Do we have a monthly subscription as opposed to a one-time payment? No, um, this is just a one-time offer uh, for 97 bucks. It's a one-time offer for that. Uh, um, what markets does the Gearbox have tick settings and work on? All of the markets. Uh, I've, I've showed you two of them. Here's the Forex, so you can see it'll work on every single Forex instrument, but um, it will also work on all of the other markets. So I've, I will show you here part of the Hawkeye Insider uh, package. If you go over to the product listing, you can see we have the Gearbox Online version, which is part of the Hawkeye Insider. You can see that the Gearbox calculation will give you specific gear speeds for all of the futures markets, all of the commodities. If you're looking at even the um, uh, Forex futures, then you can see that it provides you with all four of the tick speeds for all of the equity um, uh, futures markets. For the equities markets, we can provide all the equities markets and the uh, tick speeds for each one of those, which vary based upon their volume, and the Forex market as well. So you can see that it works across any of the markets. And uh, if you do subscribe to Hawkeye Insider, you do get the Hawkeye Gearbox online as a part of that. Uh, uh, sorry, it does not work directly on Thinkorswim, no, uh, but we can, uh, there is a workaround which a lot of our Thinkorswim users have been using, uh, and they're using their NinjaTrader account. And so by using NinjaTrader, which is a, a free platform, you can link very easily with your login information, your, uh, your Thinkorswim or NinjaTrader account uh, to uh, TD Ameritrade, and that way you can use the intraday data uh, from TD Ameritrade to trade your Ninja Trader account, and vice versa. Uh, so you purchased the standard package. Thank you, Craig, and welcome aboard. Uh, you didn't realize the heat map was on. How do you get that up on the screen? You just uh, you can open up any of the workspaces we've already provided for you. So if you open up a workspace, then you will be able to see a listing of a lot of the workspaces that we already have for you. Um, if you don't have that, then just simply right-click on the screen and insert an analysis technique and look for the Hawkeye heat map. The momentum indicator is referred to as the Hawkeye heat map. So let me know if you have a specific question about that, and I can show you on the platform that you purchased it for.
That's correct, Ricardo. It does work uh, regardless of the broker that you're using. Hawkeye Volume works on any platform. Um, that's correct. A copy of today's recording will be sent out on uh, uh, to all those who had registered. Absolutely. Oh, Daniel, uh, eSignal or NinjaTrader. Uh, what's the best volume data for eSignal or NinjaTrader? Um, eSignal, I think you've got a single source, but you, there's a lot of different options with regards to data feeds in NinjaTrader. So um, uh, NinjaTrader has a continuum. Uh, they, they provide very accurate data. Kinetic data feed um, um, are, are both fully supported by that. I happen to use a rhythmic data feed for my NinjaTrader um, uh, futures and a kinetic I use, uh, which is the FXC on data for my Forex on NinjaTrader. If every signal is taken just on this package, what kind of win-loss ratio is achievable for a skilled user? Well, you know, that's I cannot answer that question because it is, it's not a closed-in system. I can't just tell you it's it's going to work or isn't going to work because you have a lot of filters that you play in um, on a skilled, and, and, and it depends on your ability to learn, your ability to trade. Even with the most perfect software, I think that only accounts for 10% of the trade. You still have 90% of it is up in your head. You have to be able to manage your trade, understand the trade, and manage yourself and your own psychology, get into the right mindset. Then uh, you'll be able to identify these trade entries. You'll be able to see the entry points, take the trades, manage them. Whether win-loss, win-loss can be a variable as opposed to are you taking one tick, are you taking 10 ticks, are you taking one ATR? Are you taking three ATRs? There's so many variables, it's very hard to say this is a win-loss. However, we do have a live trader who is trading live money in the markets right now. His name's Colin, he trades the Forex markets, and he has consistently be, been trading 90 to 95% win-loss uh, ever since he started trading uh, October of last year. So if you want a data point, there's one data point that I can give you. We have all the documentation for that. So, Ian, I hope that helped. MT4, Craig, okay, let me pop back over there and show that. And while I'm over there, I will also show uh, eSignal. Uh, this is the platform on the eSignal where we are showing the Hawkeye tools. On eSignal, where's the Hawkeye volume? Uh, let me see, there it is right there. So here's the Hawkeye volume package on your eSignal platform showing uh, Apple. Uh, but we can also pull up any of the Forex uh, or any of the uh, futures contracts. So any data that you have that you've got running uh, for your platform, then Hawkeye will support that um, equally as well. Uh, MetaTrader 4, you say you've got the standard package, so let me pull that up for you. Okay, um, here's a uh, today's pound dollar. Here's the standard package, uh, with the exception of the fat man. You don't have the fat man on that, but you've got the trend and stops. Uh, you've got your heat map, and if you don't already have your heat map loaded, uh, then you can right-click on your chart. And here I'll show you a very quick way to do that. Just pull up a chart, right-click on your chart, and go over to the template. Within the template, you'll pull, you'll see there's a lot of templates that are loaded into your standard package. Am I not showing that? Yeah. I'm showing it, uh, Mahmoud. Uh, then you go to the Hawkeye standard package or the original, and then that will pull up and it will automatically plot on your screen um, all the tools that you have fully loaded in your um, platform. So does that uh, does that help you, Craig? So that way it'll pull, it'll come up and show you that heat map. You're very welcome. Also, there are um, um, profiles set up. So if you go under File and List Profiles, then you'll see we have a lot of uh, profiles that are already pre-configured for you that will help you to go right to these. So you can see this is a profile, and I'll just uh, toggle through any one of these profiles so you can go through each one of those to look for the specific setup that you're interested in. Okay, you're welcome.
if you change platforms, then you get to change platforms absolutely free. So if you go from uh, one platform to another, uh, then we'll give you your first platform change without any cost whatsoever. But uh, if you make a bad habit of it, then we do charge you for it later on. So absolutely, yes, there are um, alerts, audio alerts associated with those, so you can set these up on any of the platforms. You can go in and edit the indicators. Uh, once you have the indicators uh, in, you can turn on or off your um, alerts. So the alerts can be managed inside, and once the alerts are turned on and off, then you can control those within your platform and change them at, at will, and that's uh, also for any of the platforms. Okay, uh, If you're using that for... Uh, Forex or for futures or for Ninja Trader, uh, you can do the exact same uh, aspect by setting up e any of the indicators. Then you can turn on all of your pop up, whether it's a trend pop up or visible sound alerts, you can turn those on or off inside your Ninja Trader alerts platform. So, whatever platform you, you are using, you will be able to apply those um, to your trading. Absolutely. Julie, you're welcome. How much monitor space should realistically be available to provide room for everything to display properly? Uh, well, Rick, um, that's called real estate, you know, uh, and also uh, real estate is uh, very important. I have uh, eight monitors. Um, I have two separate computers, but I also run five different platforms, and uh, uh, I'm looking at um, all the markets. So if you're trading just the Forex market, then um, you, could, you could do perfectly fine with two monitors. Um, a lot of people will trade that simply using a single laptop monitor. So it's really up to you how much uh, real estate and how much um, uh, real estate uh, that you want uh, and to have available to on your trading. Do I recommend any particular platform if you're a novice? Well, um, all of our software tools are available on uh, TradeStation, on NinjaTrader, on uh, e-signal and multi-charts. We have uh, a limited selection on MetaTrader 4 simply because MetaTrader 4 um, does not provide any tick data. And so because MetaTrader 4 is a time-only platform, none of our tick data instruments are, are available on MetaTrader 4. Also, none of the um, a lot of the futures components that are available on all the other platforms are not available on MT4. Also, MT4 limits the time frames that you have available um, if you're trading live online. NinjaTrader has no limitations whatsoever with regards to time frames, uh, tick charts, rank all range bars, uh, a lot of flexibility here. Um, you also have access to your market analyzer, which gives you the access to load up all of the symbols you're interested in and be able to load up all the Hawkeye tools directly on the chart as well. So it's a great uh, time saver as far as trying to go through and filter out tools and look at the ones that are ready to trade and the ones that are not. TradeStation, likewise, you're right. It has the TradeStation radar screen, which is similar to the Market Analyzer, and it also has the TradeStation scanner. Uh, it helps you to scan through based upon Hawkeye tools for specific, specific trade setups. That's right. Why would one not want to show the volume on the bars as, as a paint bar? Have you had any good reasons? Why would you not? Um, I, I don't know. I, I absolutely um, love being able to see volume on top of the bars. Now, if you have a, a candlestick, um, if you're showing your bars as candlesticks, then if you're used to a candle, then you know that when a candle uh, is colored green, it's always going to be an up candle. And a candle, if it's red, it's a down candle. But Hawkeye volume painted on top of your candle will not show that because, as you know, um, many um, of the Hawkeye uh, uh, bars, even if the bar closes less than the open, can still be painted green. And if it's greater than the open, it can still be painted red. And you can also see, you never see a white candle, but Hawkeye volume shows you there's no demand on that bar. So that's being painted white, showing you that there's specific, uh, um, there's, there's no demand placed on this instrument at that time. So you can use it with candlesticks, absolutely, but just know that the color of the volume is going to change the actual direction of your candle. So you really don't know where the open or close is. That's the only reason you wouldn't want to put uh, the volume paint bar on the price bar. Otherwise, 
if you have open high low closer and then you can see exactly uh, where they are and why they are painted the way they are. See, here's one bar right here. Let me magnify that for you real quickly and show you that. So you notice the close is greater than the open on that red bar. So because of that, it should be painted green on a candlestick, but Hawkeye paints it red because it's telling you sellers are coming in the market. Volume always leads price, and you can see like any tanker, that price started to slow. Then you got the peak. Sellers are coming in. The trade is over. Okay, so sellers, selling activity is coming in, telling you, boom, boom, okay, this trade's over, time to start settling off. Take your profits at these peaks because it's done. So that's the a quick nutshell as to why you would want to do that. Uh, that's right, I've answered that one, answered that one. What kind of, uh, let's see, yeah, answered that one. Uh, okay, answered that one. And okay, um, in the Asia FX session, good to trade or better to avoid it and trade only London. Well, the, Paul, the London session is the best possible session to trade if you're a forex trader, by far. Now the only, the only, uh, the second best is the the New York session, and third is probably the Asian. The Asian session can be really, really slow at times. When the Japanese yen or the Bank of Japan start making announcements or doing things out there, then yes, there can be some, some pretty good action in the Asian session, but it usually doesn't last very long. Uh, and sometimes when the Australian New Zealand sessions open up, um, then you've got some activity coming up and leading into the London session, but the London session by far is the key session to trade in if you're a Forex trader. Where do I get the magnifier? It's a tool we make available to all of our members in our membership area. So if you become a Hawkeye member, you get it for free. Just download it from the resources area. Absolutely. Uh, Nigel started out by saying you don't need a lot of indicators if you understand volume. And now we're buying a whole bunch of new indicators days, weeks, months um, ahead of us. So, so uh, not including the learning a new trade platform, fun, fun, fun. Yeah, Rick, I understand. You know, when you're looking at a bunch of the um, different applications, but the idea behind Hawkeye is to help you to see how to integrate volume into your trading. Okay, so what I want to show you here uh, is a very quick example of that. Okay, so if you're looking at volume, and you're looking at these markets. Let me see if I can pull up a forex chart because I think a lot of you are doing that. And I also want to pull these on. If you are using MACDs to help you to take these trades, all right, integrate volume with whatever you're using. If you're using a, um, any other platform or any other method of taking entries, if you uh, like to use moving averages, absolutely. If you like to use stochastics, you know, or anything else that you'd like to put into your your charts to trade with, then when you see these crossovers, when you're fast is crossing down under your slow, then you know that's a sell signal. When you see your slow, double slow moving averages moving below your fast, and or vice versa, fast below your slow, those are your sell marks. Those are the places where you say, this is where the trend is changing, I need to get short. But when you see volume coming in ahead of those signals and starts telling you, this trade is starting to change in my favor, you're going to enter that trade with a lot more confidence because you've seen that and you understand it and know it. So Rick, we're not trying to get you to buy a lot of other indicators. We're trying to help you to see the value of volume. Use it with what you already do. Once you do see it, then if you're interested, you can start looking at the other suite of tools that we use because we developed them to help us trade. We know we can trade successfully, consistently, and profitably with them using our tools and we'll be more than glad to teach you how to do it as well. But volume is the starting place. You have to become a student of volume and you have to be able to understand that volume and price are the two key components in order to become consistent and profitable in these markets. If you can consistently trade with only one indicator, then my hat off to you. Uh, we developed the other indicators uh, to help us to be able to see and identify not only trends, but longer term trends and to help us to manage the trades. And they're convenience tools to help us to see multiple time frames on a single chart. 
So if I were to go back and to look at these trade entry points, and I'm trying to see if the longer time frame is in agreement with this trade, then I'll, I have to look at multiple time frame charts to be able to do that. But we've developed tools that help us to do it all on a single chart. So, you know, it may look like a daunting task, uh, and it could be based upon whether you are a novice or whether you're experienced, but the idea behind it is that you are here to learn, and I'm here to give my time to help you to learn. And I've been doing that for quite some time. I give you three full hours of live training every single week, and I'll also access to all of our historical training on demand for you to be able to do that. If you're just trying to pick an indicator that gives you the holy grail, I'm sorry, Rick, but you've come to the wrong place. Um, we don't have that here. Any other questions before I head out today? Anything else I need to show you or to help you to make a decision to get on the right side of these trades using volume? Is heat map the only difference between standard and volume package? No, not at all. No, the, uh, the, let me pull that back over to you here as well. Um, you've got the heat map, you've got the trend, you've got the stops, you've got the no progress, uh, you've got the levels, ATR, up and down, you've got the grab ATR up and down, so all of those are, are all in the standard package. And they are outlined and specifically shown on our um, website. So if you go over to the website, hawkeyetraders.com, then if you click on the store, you will be able to see a breakout of what's included in each specific package. And if you want to know more about each individual indicator, then right here under the indicators menu, you'll be able to see um, all of the specific indicators and a page to be able to go through and see more information and videos specific to the indicator that you are interested in. And then if you're ready to purchase, just click the store, look at the breakout, and then make your decision from there. You're welcome, Ian. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Steve. Thank you very much, Dave. I appreciate your time. Uh, Sylvia wants to know, can you use volume of future currency market and apply it to the Forex spot? Um, well, not on a chart you can't, but you can definitely chart it. So if you're looking at a futures um, market, and uh, if you have that, so if I'm looking at the uh, Australian dollar, US dollar, and I'm looking for this, then yes, you can use the true volume from that. Uh, and then if you have a separate chart, a uh, separate window opened up that has the Australian dollar on it, then you can use that directly to do that. Now, I believe you might be able to load a secondary symbol. And uh, I think that you can do that both in Ninja Trade Station. You might be able to load a secondary symbol on this and link the volume to that secondary symbol and show true volume with spot forex. So uh, I believe that you probably be able to do that. All right, bye Al. Thanks for being here.